And working with Pat's just been insane because he, he doesn't want to stop ever. He's always finding features. He's got a killer eye. He wants someone else to get footage, not just himself, and that's pretty rare. For him to watch somebody and step out of himself and the concern of him getting a shot and just be like, we need you to get this shot. That's just how you do it. It's how it should be done. It's always hard to get like a new trip in a zone that we've never been together. Massive redirect right there, uphill running. It's a little more of a process. We're just a bunch of dudes running around a city trying to set up spots that, you know, aren't built for snowboarding. You can get weird on that thing over there. Let's walk up right there. You know, you don't think of it as hard to, you know, drive around for eight hours around a town and basically try to take every street to look for exactly what you're going to do. But it's kind of mind melting. OK, should we keep going? Yeah, we're going to get stuck. Yeah, keep moving. It's being able to persevere through that to you know, get the job done and figure it out. Set up the first spot of the trip. Um, Weather's not cooperating, but Jake was super motivated because he's got to leave in a couple days. So here we are, doing it. Can I just chuck one up? Everyone has so much experience doing this because everyone's been doing it for five years plus, like a lot of us 15. So it's like everyone knows to keep the whole crew together. Everyone's lighthearted and it's easy. You know, we know what we're doing. We know everyone's kind of stressing out. But at the same time, it's like we know exactly what the goal is and how to get it done. So you just got to grind through it. You know, we're at that spot hitting it, and I'm following Cam and Jeremy, and then he gets his trick, and then I'm up. All the stuff that you think about filming just completely is like, that's not on me right now. What's on me is like my board and how to get speed and how I'm gonna hit this. He hasn't hit a street spot for a minute. I think two seasons almost, so it's good to get him back right, in the cut boys. and me on the camera. We'll whoop you good. The writer, filmer, production is all hands on deck all the time. Everyone doing every job. That's why I refuse to learn how to use a camera. Going from, you know, filmer to writer, totally different mindset. It got me hype. It just felt like organic, like how it is when we were growing up. That's how it should be. Like, everybody should snowboard, you know? We can. You know, just one way or another, like, just strap in and hit something. There's these like cool pillars here. I think Jeremy's got something figured out over there. Kind of redirect into the oververt, like a side kicker. And then you just crack in, tack up in the oververt. As like the tricks start coming, you start thinking back and you're like, man, those days we were kind of just like cruising around were kind of nice because now I'm all sore and tired and everyone's like staying up late.
have a good crew of people and you're all in the same mindset and you're all out to, to help each other, then it's just like a well-oiled machine that's just like pumping out shots. When there's zero weak links, it, this is what happens. And that's what this crew's been. It's just been, you know, there's no one slacking. Does it look like it lines up? It lines up, like I see what Seth's saying. When you're launching something and you're trying to get all the puzzle pieces to fit, that's, that's a battle, you know? No matter how confident you are in all these puzzle pieces, it's still got to match up. I don't think you'll overshoot with that speed. No. no. Okay. Maybe a little deep, but you'd rather there than short. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I don't want to come up short. But when you're <laughs> getting ready to drop in on something scary and sketchy and something you could die on, you want to know that you have the confidence and your friends have the confidence in you too. Don't want to get too hippie with it or whatever, but it, it's it's full like energy type of thing. You got to have the good energy, and you got to you got to have the right people together. Not only make the shots happen, but to to make the progression happen. You know. What really sets snowboarding apart is that if you're out filming, you're trying to get the tricks and you're trying to progress to, to where we're at today, you know, you're not doing it by yourself. Unless you're like just paying people to be there. You know, it's it's really a part of this kind of this crew that you have and and that dynamic is is everything really. I'm so happy to be snowboarding. I think I, I'm enjoying it more than I ever have in my life. It's been a rough road up and down, you know, but I'm, I'm glad to still be in there and so thankful to still be supported.